Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg and this is where we make the hard candy and we're still working on the tangerine sours. So a lot has arrived this week. First of all, we got the labels, or at least the front labels. We thought we had the back labels, but that's another problem. So the front labels are here and the back labels were originally going to print like we print for most of our candies on thermal laser stock with a thermal laser printer. The problem will come later and we'll tell you about that. We also got the tins in. We've got thousands of these in now. And the t for the tins, we've got these candy pads. They're made out of glassine paper. We're having them custom made for us. This is a white prototype. Our final ones will be a dark brown with our logo in gold printed on it. And that should start shipping to us tomorrow or early next week. So we're still a week out on these things. The tins fit them perfectly. And what they'll do is they'll give just a little cushion to the candy, not as a pillow so much, but as a spring. It'll spring the candy against the lid and keep the candy from moving and shipping. Hopefully, this is going to keep it from breaking up and shipping because we want to make a tin of candy and not give you a very flavorful maraca. The next thing we discovered with the tins is they're not actually airtight. And that's a problem for storage. To make them airtight, you have to put a shrink wrap around the edge and the shrink wrap requires the use of a heat gun. And all we have to do is put these little strips of plastic around it and heat it up with a heat gun and it shrinks down perfectly. But this is causing two problems. One, it's going very slowly. And two, the thermal labels aren't happy. <laughs> we discovered this the hard way, as you can tell. So we're getting four color labels printed to match the labels on the front with the barcode and the required nutrition information on the back. We just got all of that certified, so we're good to go there. Um, we're going to then get the, uh, we're then gonna have to heat seal these on, but if you saw how difficult this is to do by hand, we're probably gonna have to do thousands of this. I've invested in a machine to help us do this. This machine is called the Thermal Heat Tunnel. It's a specific machine for shrink wrapping products and we haven't quite got it working yet. But let me show you what we got working. It's a little conveyor belt, works great. Its fans work great. And the problem is we don't have an outlet with enough amperage in it to turn on the heating element without popping the circuit breaker. So we got an electrician coming in at the end of this week or the beginning of the next week, but that's not gonna slow us down because we're running behind for other reasons. We're waiting on the back labels, we're waiting on the pads for the cans. Both of those should be in in about a week. And we should be able to get going there in theory, but we have a few other things to do. We got the last of our samples to go out to our beta testers. We may have the last three batches. What we're testing now is not the outside sour, but the inside sour. Each one of these has a different inside sour. And they're going off to several of our selected beta tasters, and they'll do it. We also have been doing some of our back label development because we have to get it certified for weights and things like that and the nutritional information. And we noticed something. Our tins are exactly twice the size of the originals. In other words, these are 100 grams and these are 50 grams. So you're going to get more candy even if the pieces are bigger, which is pretty cool. And um, we're going to still deal with the problem of our malic acid. We're having trouble grinding it. We've been grinding it in food processors, blenders, coffee grinders, uh, various herb grinders, and we can't get the powder consistent. This was an ideal world, we'd use something called a ball mill, which is like a tiny cement mixer with steel or ceramic balls in it that just pulverize whatever's in it. It's used by the uh, pharmaceutical industry and uh, people who work with gunpowder and make model rocket engines or fireworks or whatever. And they are great. The ones for fireworks and gunpowder are not food safe, but very cheap. And the ones for this pharmaceutical industry are very, very, very expensive for a decent one of a size that I need. I mean, it's great if I want to make do about a teaspoon of it at a time, but I'm not. So I'm doing a whole lot more. So I have to either find another machine, and we have a good chance of this. We've got a mill coming in that's meant to grind flour in, for home use. It belongs to a friend of mine. It should be here tomorrow. And if that works, we're perfect. And if it doesn't, you're probably going to see a video of me making a ball mill because that's what's needed. And it sounds like fun to make one. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but I'm hoping to get this out sooner than this. When is it going to come out? People are constantly asking me. People think this is sold out. We haven't started selling it yet. This is going to uh, be out when it's ready. It could be as soon as two or three weeks because it's going to take a week, let's say, to get all the rest of the parts in if the world is great and we can get the, uh, we can get the acid to grind right. But we still have to make the candy. 
we're going to need a week or two for that, for making and packaging a bunch of the candy before we put it out for sale. When will we do it and how will you find out? Well, I guess here on YouTube, subscribe, ring the alerts bell, do that sort of stuff. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, of course. We'll definitely talk about it on our podcast, which is called Lofty Pursuits, and you can download it anywhere. You get podcasts, that is. I guess not anywhere. You'll find out first on our email list. Well, almost first. And you can get to our email list by going to our website, www.pd.net. And that's also where you can buy your candy if you want to get other candies right now, because it is going to be a couple of weeks. And I'm sorry about constantly pushing off this deadline, but I want it to be perfect. And you do too, I know. The impatience is bothering me as well, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll wait because it'll be better when it's done and when it's done right. And hopefully, one of these is the right one. I really think it is, and I think I know which one, but I'm not going to tell anyone so I can hear back from the beta tasters. And of course, you know, uh, I want to thank our Patreon subscribers because they're the ones that are actually going to get the chance to order it first because their funding made this project possible. And it's going to make other projects possible, like one about the history of toffee and toffee hammers. And we're going to start making toffee, we hope, in a couple of months. And uh, this little guy here is a custom toffee hammer we're having made because they used to be packaged with toffee hammers to break up your big blocks of toffee. And this was a key element of the, win win of the women's uh, suffrage movement in Britain. So it has a neat piece of history too where candy and politics and uh, human rights overlap. And you'll get to find that out. And that'll be the next project we're going to do thanks to our Patreon subscribers. So thank you. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be in a week, and I think we'll finally get the part two of the allergy video out. But for now, I thought you wanted an update on what's going on with Tangerine Sours.